G'day. Welcome to Animal Tales with Tim Faulkner. That's me. Today, I'm talking about echidnas. Echidnas are incredibly unique. They're monotremes. This means they're egg-laying mammals. So, echidnas mate, and that's a bit tricky. How does a male mate with a female when there's all these spikes? But they do. Once that happens, the female has an egg inside her. And then she lays that egg. This is a big female too. She lays that egg, and just down in her belly here, she has a pseudo pouch. And that pouch uh, isn't like a kangaroo's pouch. It's just a fold of skin that thickens when she's about to lay an egg. And she lays the egg and then she incubates it. And then the egg hatches into a tiny little echidna, but it doesn't look like an echidna. It doesn't have spikes. It doesn't even have eyes, it's tiny. And it pushes on its mum's belly and little bits of milk come out. Now, I had a little mate, Eddie the echidna. And Eddie was rescued from a farm. People were building a dam. And when they dug up around the dam, they dug up Eddie. No one knew where his mum was and he was really vulnerable. And he was only about the size of a tennis ball. And he ended up in my care. Now, would you believe it? Try and imagine this. I only had to feed Eddie every five days. They're really different to us, even though they're mammals or monotremes. They're warm-blooded, but their temperature is much lower. Their metabolism, which is much slower, the way in which they eat their food and burn off their energy is much slower. So every five days, and I had to keep Eddie at 25 degrees. Now, if that was us, a human at 25 degrees, your body temperature, you're not alive anymore. But for echidnas, that's normal. So mum goes out and forages, she comes back and she feeds her puggle, that's what they're called, every five to eight days. They drink a lot of milk and then they put on some body mass. Now, after a while, Eddie began to grow up to develop his spines and turn into an adult echidna. Let me talk you through some of their features. Now, the first thing is these spines. They're incredible. And they're very different to porcupines. Echidnas are monotremes. Porcupines are mammals. They both have similar type spines, but they're very different animals. Now these spines are used to protect against things like Tasmanian devils, dingoes, goannas, if, or birds of prey, eagles. If they come down and try and eat an echidna, they curl up in a ball. And all you see is a spiky back. You can't eat that. Now if you look on their nose, all they eat are ants, eggs, and termites. Now that nose has a tongue inside that's 20 centimeters long, and they can flick it right through a termite nest, and out with the tongue and its stickiness comes all the termites. Now they've got a good sense of smell, and the other things are, look at the claws. The front hands are like miniature bulldozers. They pull back and rake dirt and ant mounds, and the back legs are like shovels. They get the dirt out of the way, because not only do they dig up termite mounds, but when they need to defend themselves or take shelter, they'll dig down into a little burrow or just right down in the ground where they're safe from predators. Echidnas live right throughout Australia. There's even a couple of species up in New Guinea called long-beaked echidnas, but they range in habitats from the deserts of arid Australia to the rainforests in North Queensland. They need their food, ant eggs and termites. And if they've got that and somewhere to shelter, they can survive there. It's funny when you think about it, that almost every animal can swim. And you look at an echidna, it's this little thing with short legs, but they swim and they swim well. And in Australia, we're a land of boom and bust. And part of that is that we have really heavy rainfall at times and we flood and then the rain's gone. And for the echidna, sometimes they've got to cross a river or they're caught in flood water. And it's true that most animals can swim. Echidnas and monotremes are some of the oldest species on Earth since the age of dinosaurs. But they're little heroes because they're hanging on in there. Their species isn't endangered, uh, but they face all the same threats of habitat destruction, feral pests, and all the other things that so many animals do. But for echidnas, they're really out there. We don't see them so much because they're mostly nocturnal, but they're little heroes because they're hanging on. Two bits of homework. I'd like you to draw an echidna. In colour, please. Send me that picture. Put it in the comments. 
And the next one, maybe for the older kids, maybe not, maybe for the younger kids too, is I know that there were some prehistoric monotremes. They're extinct now and they're only known from fossil records. Can you find what they are? See you later.